Hey guys, so uh, today I'm going to be talking about online dating and my experience and how I met Daniel uh, because it's been much requested and um, yeah. So as you guys may have remembered, in 2014 I did a pretty fair amount of online dating. I decided I'm now open to dating and um, I was going to go into it with an open mind and kind of some excitement and a positive attitude. So um, I had also read a really great book that I have talked about in the past. I will go ahead and insert a picture here. And that book completely changed my outlook of dating and I became less critical, more open-minded, less judgmental and just again just kind of went into it like you know we'll see what happens rather than in the past I always looked at it like oh ah, dating it sucks blah 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 you know I just uh, I don't want to I didn't want to have that attitude so I met a lot of interesting people and uh, learned a lot about myself had some fun experiences had some weird experiences but you know if anything it gave me stories to tell and things to laugh about with my friends and then I was also able to talk to my friends about dating which I continue to do and um, two of my girlfriends and I that used to go to coffee and talk about dating all three of us now have boyfriends and all of our boyfriends have the last name that starts with an E which we thought was kind of interesting and uh, just recently I let one of my friends at work borrow that book and um, and now she is seeing someone pretty seriously and just um, exclusively and um, so she gives me credit because she had started a profile and she cut it and then she put it back on after talking to me so she gives me this credit I don't I can't take the credit but um, it's just fun I guess is my point it doesn't have to be um, you know doesn't have to be so tough and stressful. Um, <clears throat> but it's easy for me to say because I met someone and I have a boyfriend now. Um, so I had decided to take a break, I think around late November, early December. And because um, I, the most recent guy I had seen, I'd went out with a few times and he, he was just different. And, uh, we never really talked and I just felt like why are we hanging out and uh, so it didn't last very long but at that point I was like you know I'm ready to take a break I've been doing this for over six months and I'm just ready for a break so I deleted one of I had two profiles on dating websites I was on OkCupid and I was on Plenty of Fish so those are both free sites and <clears throat> you know I know there's Zoo Skin Match where you can pay for but in the past, and I don't know if this is the same, but in the past, I found that I would pay for it and then I would message someone and then they would have to sign up and pay for it in order to message me back. So I never knew who actually paid for it and who just had a free profile. So it just felt like I just wasn't really getting any response. So this time around, I was like, I'm just going to do the free ones and weed out the weirdos and the deadbeats and whatever. So, um... I had, when I took my break, I had deleted uh, one of the profiles, and then the second one I just hid it, um, so nobody could see me in the feed, and um, one day I, in January, I was sitting on the couch, and I was feeling sorry for myself, and I was bored and lonely, and I kind of was like, do I want to start dating again? Because um, it is, it is kind of an event, you know? you. You have to talk to these people and, and start all over with everybody and, you know, putting yourself out there. And um, so I didn't really want to be back in the feed and, and start dealing with a lot of incoming messages. But I saw Daniel's picture and he was cute and he lives in, I live in a small town um, and he lives in my same small town, and which I thought was kind of random. And... Uh, so I just sent him a pretty quick message and the message was something like, you know, hi, how you doing? I live in this town too. 
Um, have you had any luck on this site? Do you want to talk sometime? Period. You know. And so he responded back with like I always joke around with him. He responded with a novel. Uh, so we emailed back and forth a few times, and I, with dating, found that I didn't want to email and text with someone for like months at a time without ever meeting them because sometimes you meet them in person and there's no chemistry, no attraction, you just don't get along. And sometimes that's hard to tell via text or email. So I was always of the opinion like let's meet in person, get it out of the way, make sure we're even compatible before we text every day and get to know each other and talk about, you know, our daily lives. And so I, I feel like I put a little bit of pressure on him to meet in person and he's pretty shy and, but he did, he, he did it. And we met at um, a Denny's because again, another tip that I had with dating or, or have, I guess with dating is especially on the first time you meet them, you don't always want to do dinner because especially if you aren't attracted to them, you're kind of stuck then for like an hour at least. And it's awkward eating in front of people sometimes and so it, it was rare that I ever did restaurants on a first date but we both had gotten off at 530 and I knew I would be hungry and he was gonna be hungry so he was like well pick a restaurant and so I was like well how about Denny's because it, it was close to my work and I just figured it was really casual it's not gonna be very busy and I thought if anything we can um, because it's right off of I-5, so I said, if anything, we can make fun of the uh, uh, patrons that are traveling and make up these funny backstories and, you know, just trying to keep it fun. And um, so we met at Denny's and uh, talked for a long time, and then we walked outside and he asked me out again, and with our schedules he asked me out for the next night otherwise it would have to be at least four or five days later because of his schedule and so we went out the second night uh, the next night and this time we stayed in our little town and um, had Mexican food and talked till they closed and um, yeah went on from there so um, you know there are, there are, are different opinions as far as women messaging men um, I'm of the opinion, do it. I mean, honestly, if he had, if I had never messaged him, I don't know that he would have messaged me because he's so shy. I haven't asked him that, but you know, um, but I also don't feel like I did anything outside of my integrity or, um, you know, I, I think it's okay to talk with a guy and flirt with a guy and give him some encouragement. Um, to then ask you out. So, uh, I guess that's it. Um, I don't think I've left anything out. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. If you have any experience with online dating and you feel comfortable, please leave it in a comment below because I'm curious what your experiences are. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.